Japan, that's what they call me. What it do, y'all? Be wide through the hard way, man. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Live from 85, back at it again, man. The realest one on the net. Boss talk of business. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Share these videos. Y'all know the rest. Don't skip no ads, just in case you don't know. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed, man. It's free. Good content. Come rock with your boy. All right, y'all, I got my notes, man. We're going to go to Sacramento with it. I ain't talked about Mazi in a while, but I'm going to speak on him right now, man, because Mazi, you know, he one of them rappers that I like, but you got another rapper coming at him, man, and he testing his gangster right now, so. Hey, Mazi, you got to come back and say something, man, so let's get to it. So you had CML Lavish D. He dropped a song, Where's Wildo Part 2, and he going at Mazi tough, man. I mean tough. I mean, he, hey, let, let's let's start, let's go back, let's start where the beef started at. Now, I was watching the Vlad TV interview to do my research on this, and from what Lavish D say, it started in the streets at first. Then he says, Mozzie went and dropped, I tried to find this song, but I couldn't find it, called Sit With It, or, or With The, With The S, or whatever, but I couldn't find it, so. I went and I found the truth, and just being honest, now the truth came out first. The truth, it had this dude in it named Zilla Zo, and that was his homeboy, and he wound up losing his life, I want to say like 12 hours after this video, and Mozzie said that himself in a Vlad TV interview, y'all can go and check that out, it's an old interview, but y'all can go check that out. So then, in that video, man, he was talking about a lot of things. Y'all can go check it out. But then he dropped, just being honest. Now, that had Filthy Rich in it. And it was basically something like the truth. But, you know, by this time, he had a bigger name. So more people and more, it came with more clout, you feel me? So they say, I remember when all this happened, they say, like, Around 25 people was, was shot and lost their lives, you know, all over this, you feel me? Over these songs. But you had people that that was rapping that had, you know, that had to do with these songs that just weren't rappers, you feel me? They were actually with it, you feel me? So, CML, from what I looked up, is a part of a group called The Stars, allegedly. And Mozzie is allegedly, you know, an old part of blood. So, you got people that's really with it. They got money and got clout or whatever, and they really going at it. But let CML tell it, you know, don't nobody got none. You know, he he the hardest, you feel me? And you can't doubt it. You know, he done done his time. People people know about him. You know, you can't you can't really dispute it. And Mozzie got a dude that's with him named Snubs, right? Snubs dropped a he dropped a video. Talking down on CML. And then CML went and responded. And I'm going to show y'all a little bit of his response. I would have showed you Snubs, but it had too much profanity or whatever in it. So, I'm going to show y'all this right here and I'll be right back with it. That's my nigga Snub knows 38, blood. Now, I ain't going to say 38 because I'm disrespecting the world saying that, man. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what Shadab knows is a uh, 357 or a 38, man. You know what I'm talking about? Caliber pistol. So ain't no disrespect, but look at this nigga Snubby, blood. Blood is. Blood, stop talking to me, blood. <laughs> go back to sleep. <laughs> Get your ass in the couch. Get your ass in the front room, nigga. Go to sleep. <laughs> and you can see Mozzie. I mean, not Mozzie. My fault. You can see Lavish D. He clowning. Making fun of him. You know it is what it is. I just want to show y'all that video because there wasn't no profanity in it. You feel me? So. Cause I don't take sides when I talk about things. You know, I give you the, I give you both sides, and I let y'all make the judgment on what y'all think it is. You feel me? Because I like Mozzie, I like Lavish D. I'm just giving y'all Lavish D point of view, and I'm giving you Mozzie point of view. But right now, you can't really give Mozzie point of view because he he hasn't responded back yet. Which I'm not gonna say he's not. I'm pretty sure he will. You know, because he the one. You know, he dropped these songs first. You feel me? He came at Filthy Rich pretty tough, so I just figured it's a chess move, a matter of time before he do respond back, and he will. 
But for right now, man, Lavish D, he dropped that Where's Wildo too. Y'all can go check that out on YouTube, man. It went hard. It went hard, man. I mean, tough. He also going at Silly Roo. Silly Roo, he from Sacramento also. And I want to say he cool with Mozzie. I'm not for sure, but... Yeah, he going at Silly Roo, but, but for right now, you know, the main beef is with them two. Lavish D and Mozzie, and... I would say, you know, let's keep it on rap, but it's it's way past that. It. It's way past that. So I'm just here reporting on it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. You know who y'all rocking with, who's y'all favorite rapper on the rapping end now. Don't be no fan and and pick sides and make like you in the beef and say you smoking this person and smoking that person. Let's not do that. Let's keep it respectful in the comments and you know, let's be real. Be why three the whole way. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm going to hit y'all another video real soon, man. Till then, me and hold up for you. Do what you probably do not what you want to do. And I'm out.